The Claw, The Beard, Rocket Spurs. That's our first Western Conference semifinals matchup. And in my opinion, I think this will be the most entertaining round two series this year. Kawhi Leonard is scorching hot. And James Harden is always fun to watch. For me, the biggest question is, does San Antonio have enough to stop Mike D'Antoni's high-powered offense on the defensive end? I know Popovich and the Spurs have done it before when D'Antoni was in Phoenix. But times have changed, and the NBA now favors high-scoring offense. Offenses, and I can't for the life of me figure out how Pop got this team to be the best defensive squad in the entire NBA. When your starting front court consists of Pau Gasol and LaMarcus Aldridge, you should not have the NBA's best defense based on that alone, but I guess Kawhi is just that good. The Spurs did fall more into the middle of the pack on that side of the floor during the playoffs, and the Grizzlies aren't exactly an offensive powerhouse, so that may be a little bit of a concern, but if we've learned anything from years past Popovich is going to figure something out I have no idea what they're going to do or how they're going to stop the spread pick and roll with James Harden running the point Powell and LaMarcus just do not have the foot speed or lateral quickness to make me feel comfortable when James asks for a pick on the ball it's easy to just say hey throw Dwayne Dedman out there he's pretty good at protecting the rim but are you really going to play Dwayne Dedman 25 to 30 minutes in the playoffs against a high-powered offense like the Rockets I really don't know what Pop is going to do, but maybe going extremely small and switching everything is the answer. That would mean guys like Jonathan Simmons would have to see his minutes increase since he's a pretty versatile defender who can guard multiple positions, but that still leaves the question as to who's going to protect the rim for San Antonio. Maybe they pack the pain and force Houston to shoot over the defense, but isn't that exactly what Houston wants? I know they only shot 28% from three against OKC in round one, and they didn't exactly finish that series in convincing fashion. That closeout game was an absolute mess, but asking Houston to play passively and take threes instead of driving into the paint is a high risk high reward type of situation for san antonio i honestly don't know what they're going to do but what i do know is that nothing will surprise me because pop is only the second greatest coach we've ever had in the league so he's gonna figure something out as for the rockets hopefully james harden's ankle feels a lot better and he plays at an mvp level like he did during the regular season the rockets are also going to have to get some production from one of their bigs nene was was absolutely huge for them in round one can he do it again can't Clint Capella find his way around the slow San Antonio front court I don't think guys like Eric Gordon Patrick Beverly or Lou Williams are really going to matter in this series because the Spurs are pretty good around the perimeter so I think the bigs are really going to have to step up if Houston is going to have a chance to win this series I actually have the Rockets in six. I don't like what I saw from the Spurs in round one against Memphis. I think their defense is starting to fall off a little bit in the postseason. Maybe fatigue is starting to kick in. They are a little bit of an older team, but I'm just going with my gut. I know it's going against Pop and the Spurs, but who do you guys have winning this series? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to tell me how many games you think this series will go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And remember, sometimes it only takes a claw to trim a beard. But for every other situation, the traction is going to be very consistent and it might just be the KD9's best feature. The reason why I say might be is because the cushion also performs at an extremely high level with its full length mag zoom air setup that really showcases what the technology has to offer.